Hello, my name is Dr. Carla Zalme and today we're talking about the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. It's been given the go-ahead by the regulators in the UK, which means it's going to be rolled out very, very soon. But what I want to focus on today is how it works and at the end we'll answer some common questions like, is it safe in pregnancy and who gets it first? In order to understand how the vaccine works, we first have to know how the virus gets inside the cell and destroys itself. The way it does this is it uses a protein called a spike protein on its surface to act like like a key to interact with a receptor known as an ACE2 receptor on your cell. This key and lock system allows the virus to gain entry into your cell and do lots of harm. Most of the vaccines that are being worked on at the moment have been focusing on this spike protein. And the way they've been doing it is if you can neutralize this key, then you can stop it from interacting and opening the gate to your cell. The human cell has lots of different structures inside it and those things have different functions. If you look at the nucleus, it contains your genetic material. If you look at the ribosomes, they are the factories within the cell. And the mitochondria, as you may know, is the powerhouse and gives the energy to the cell. This mRNA vaccine works on the ribosome, so it's got nothing to do with the nucleus. Sorry, anti-vaxxers, to disappoint. It doesn't change your genetic material. It doesn't do anything to your genetics. All it does is it acts as a blueprint to the factory that makes proteins to tell it, I want to make this protein that is similar to the spike protein on the COVID virus. And what you do is when we go to the ribosome, the ribosome is acting like a Pac-Man. It's just chomping away at amino acids, the building blocks of life. And out the other end, like a 3D printer, beautiful 3D printer, comes out proteins. And this blueprint basically tells it how to build something similar to the spike protein. Why are we doing that? Well, once we've done that, the immune system will see this and say, that doesn't look quite right. It's not something that's usually within my body. And it mounts an immune response. Once you get an immune response, your body will be able to, in the future, deal with something that looks like that. And therefore, you would have immunity to the COVID virus before you've even met it. So is it safe in pregnancy? Well, the truth is we don't know yet. The data set and the patients that were trialed on didn't have any pregnant women, so for sure we cannot know. The main thing to say is that there were some patients that did become pregnant during the trials, and what they will be doing is to follow those patients up and make sure that there aren't any adverse effects going on afterwards. So at the moment, the answer is we don't know. So pregnant women, the advice is not to get it at the moment. That may change sometime from now, but obviously follow your own government's advice when that change happens. Who will get the vaccine? The first part of the rollout will involve those most vulnerable and most at risk. So it'll be the over 80s, staff and residents in care homes, but also healthcare staff and eventually social care staff. In 2021, we'll probably see a slightly wider rollout, meaning that people with pre-existing conditions and people under the age of 80 will also be given the vaccine. Why are there two vaccine doses given instead of one? Well, what this vaccine does is at the first dose, it will prime your immune system and get it ready. So at that point, your immune system is looking at the vaccine, studying it and formulating and planning your immune response. The second dose usually, which is three weeks later, is reinforcing that immune response and allowing your immune system to react. If you've got any questions, then drop them below and I'll try and get back to all of you. I make health videos and try and keep them concise and clear. So if you enjoyed this, then please consider giving a subscribe. I'll see you in the comments.